This John Lothian News video is sponsored by Today, trades occur in milliseconds around the globe, but there are still aspects of the business that lag behind, especially in the post-trade area. Christian Netwich, CEO and co-founder of tech firm Duco, estimates that there is more than $500 million in unreconciled fees in the brokerage space. Here's how his firm is attempting to address the reconciliation problem. It looks a, a bit like an iceberg, right? Where at the top you've, you've got the tip, which is being sold by uh, tools, I guess, that grew up in the 90s that the big firms use. Uh, and then below you have mountains of manual work going on, you know, from the smaller brokers up to the big players. Um, and then even outside the financial services industry, anytime data needs to be controlled. There's probably too much of it going on uh, in some places and too little uh, in others, right? So we know that some of the bigger firms have hundreds, sometimes thousands of staff doing this manually. Um, there's a big trend around outsourcing a few years ago, doing this in, in offshore locations. Um, and then sometimes it's not happening at all, uh, and especially in things like interbook and intercompany trading activities where the auditors are starting to pick up on it. Um, but it is, a, it is a big deal, right? So if you take things like, you know, just take a little part of the problem, which is brokerage invoicing, which has been a problem for the industry for a while, there's still, you know, some people say more than 500 million in unreconciled um, fees out there. That's just one of the areas, so there is a big problem. What we do and, and, and why we think we've got something that's special here is we've grown this in a very different way from the way solutions have previously been delivered in finance. A lot of solutions, especially in niche uh, parts of the market, whether it's you know, either in futures or, or in the finance departments, grow up out of firms where somebody builds a specific solution. So they might build you a nostril reconciliation system or they might build you a clearing reconciliation system. And actually what we've done is we've said, well, what, what are the real fundamental underlying issues here that we want to solve? We want, we want people to be able to reconcile data, um, no matter what it is. And we want them to be able to do it in a couple of hours without running projects. So we've cracked the challenge around how do you take data that's low quality, in arbitrary formats and get non-technical people to throw it into something that can find the breaks um, in a very, very short period of time. Well, first of all, it touches every part of the financial services market. So yes, we sign up several futures brokers and I think you know we've got a very rapid rate of progress for a firm coming into the market. So in the first full year of operation, we went live with 16 firms. Um, um, we then look at, you know, even retail banking, certainly other parts of capital markets, OTC. Regulatory reporting is, is still a really hot topic and, you know, enabling people to control whether they're reporting correctly is one of them. But then even just looking outside, you know, finance isn't, isn't special in the needs to have to control this data. Um, so we're working, for example, with a supermarket uh, that's issuing you know, prepaid cards, uh, and they need to do the same thing. So we look at it as a very, very wide horizontal play, and we provide value adds to specific industries to differentiate. The big thing for us this year is we're starting to engage with some of the tier one firms, and that's a very different scale of challenge in, in many different ways, right? The, the breadth of issues we find, um, the volume challenge, um, and so on. Um, so that's a, it's a big part of our year. Um, the other part of it is we want to expand into the U.S. Um, we only get, already get about half of our revenue uh, from the U.S., but we need people on the ground here to support our customers. But I'm extremely optimistic, and I'm not even just uh, optimistic about the growth potential, but about the ability to execute this, because the sort of solutions that you see now, when well, we're just one example of this, there, there are others that you can just switch on and that solve a very focused problem. They're going to become very obvious things to just do. You know, there's no barrier to implementation. So we are extremely optimistic about the future.